Alrighty, there goes Dennis. Putting in the new Sea Arc 20 footer. Dennis and his, his 20 foot Sea Arc. Yeah. It's pretty stable. Okay, Dennis's first red on his new boat. Look at that big old aluminum boat. Alrighty, that was a fun morning with Dennis doing a shakedown cruise of his boat. Okay, here I am with Dennis. You may remember the 20 foot sea arc. Well, yesterday he had a car rear ended him on the on the Wonderwood Bridge um, while he was towing over the Wonderwood Bridge. And now this is what's left of the 20 foot sea arc and all the damage. So we're going to start at the tongue and we're going to work our way back. We're at the yard now where they bring the boats and cars that look like this. There's a real wonderful gem for you. Okay. Um, some dude ran right up. We won't go into particulars about this dude. I'd love to go into particulars about it myself, but. Um, so. He's towing with his pickup truck over the Wonderwood Bridge, going fishing, and that's the Lawless Bridge, of course, where all those Navy guys and contractors and that traffic are doing like 80 miles an hour, and they hit the back of his boat at right when he was nearing the top of the Wonderwood Bridge. So, here's the first part of the damage, right? Yeah. Just this entire mechanism? Broken. Broken. And it's kind of warped too. And you can see right here, if you look real closely, that's bent. Yeah, the tongue of the trailer's bent. Broke this. Um, I don't know how, but it broke it. Uh, took the handle off. Oh right yeah, look at that. The handle is completely missing off the off of that. Yeah. Here's the next thing. The the trailer winch and jack the jack stand. Look at Here's where the bolt was that was holding this down on the beam. Tire came forward, pushed this over, and now the whole thing is leaning forward. And the only thing that was holding the boat on was the chain, because you can see the trap, the strap snapped right off. I mean, can you imagine how strong that is? And that broke. Yeah. So then you the can see. The only thing holding it to the front of the boat was this little chain. Yeah, so now you see, this is the way the boat is, but then again, when, you, when I saw it, it was on the ground. Yeah, it was the, on the side. The yeah. boat was, like, laying over. Okay, trolling motor. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't even look like it, nothing to it. Yeah. You can smell the gas. Yeah. He, Dennis said that the gas was actually pouring gas out. gas in, in the bilge. In right? the bilge, poured out of the tank. Now, this is why... I mean, even a complete guy hit you probably, what, 50, 50, 60 miles an hour, whatever, 55? at least 60, because I was okay. 50. No, this is man, why you own an here. aluminum boat. Look here. Okay, so oh, then it skinned man. the whole boat. Yeah. Oh, man. Good time of day. Oh, is that split? I don't know if it's split, but boy, it's gouged in some kind of good. You can feel it, right? No, yeah. Okay, no and this is a Sea Arc. It's a, it's an older boat, so it's got like some riveting, but it is welded too. It's all it's, welded. It's hull. all this. It's all welded on. The hull's welded. These are just for putting on the the deck and stuff like that. So it's a welded hull. Okay. 
The gas tank is right where? Here? Right, right here. Oh, right under here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So something's wrong with the gas tank. Well, it's a poly tank. Yeah. Okay. The boat was laying on the side. The gas was oh. coming out of here. Oh, the gas was coming out yeah. of the filler. Okay. It came right out of the tank. Okay. The because the boat was laying was on its gas. side. There was a big pool of gas here. And then when we righted it up, all my fishing rods that were here had gas all over. Huh. Custom built fishing rods. Yeah. And there was a big pool of gas here. So when we flipped it, okay, nothing I took wrong. everything out of it. I know, but I was just seeing if it was like loose. This is an add-on box that you add on to the boat. These these add-on boxes appear to be okay, although okay. they're loose now. Yeah. Well, it's, wow, it wasn't loose before. Yeah, they're screwed into this cross member here. Yes, or brace. It jarred the screws. Scratches on the. Oh yeah, we well, yeah. the pavement. I mean, that's the reason here. why you have a boat with these giant extrusions to start off with. Yeah. Okay, more scrapes. Yeah. If that was fiberglass, yeah, that would be shattered and nothing left of it if, if it rolled across down the pavement. Wow, this box is loose too now. It okay. wasn't loose before. <coughs> so, okay, trailer, pretty much toast. Oh, look at this tire. Oh. Was that, that fender? Did a fender probably yeah, hit the tire? Yeah, fenders, fenders went down on the tire. You can see the tire's low. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't low, but it is now. There's this Look side this. bunk. Look at this, man. He just cut a groove. Something just cut a groove. Oh, that's probably one of your bolts or something yeah. when this went up. Look at here's Yeah, this. the boat when we when we flopped the boat over it, it kinda popped itself on the trailer. The boat was setting on the pavement until we started messing with it. Yeah, okay now here's when we get to the good part, folks, or the bad part. There's his Mercury engine. Yeah, there's four by taillights. Taillights. Look at the cross members of the trailer, completely smashed all the way in. Look at this. There's his 90 horse, right? Yeah, 90 horsepower motor. It 90 broke. horse, look at that. It Com broke it. He hit right here, and he must have gone straight into the engine. Yeah. Completely sheared the aluminum right at the, at the steering tube. And then, check that, that prop's really in great shape. Look at that. Yeah. $600 prop, folks. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Completely aluminum sheared off. It's, yeah. So it's basically hanging, well, is it sitting on this board right here right now? Yeah. Well, we had to tie it up to tow it. It was dragging So you had to do a ton of work after this ass wipe got taken to the hospital yeah oh yeah why didn't he just go to the back of a cop car and go to jail uh, i don't know he, he was he was i don't know how badly he was in. this is warped the transom is warped after you a can hit really see it now in in the daytime you can really <coughs> see this is warped yeah i can see it it Folks, curves this boat it, will never track right again if it if, if I can see it cur right where the engine is. It yeah. bumps in and then goes that way again. It's more batteries, brand new batteries, folks. Batteries been in the boat. A brand new battery charger. I mean, wiring ripped out of the boat. I mean, where the batteries flew, it just, it just. I mean, when you get hit at 55 miles an hour or whatever, yeah. I don't think batteries are going to stay in their boxes. That's for sure. Smell like gas. Up underneath there, there's the beam. Yeah. Which the, the, the engine might Look have even. It. It's almost sheer. You almost sheared it. It's oh, yeah. Let me see that. Look at that aluminum right there. Broke. Almost broke right in half. Yeah. He, he was moving on. Well, they only do an average speed of about. On the Wonderwood Bridge, they do about an average speed of about 70 to 75 miles an hour. Yeah. All those Navy dudes. All those con, uh, contractors. It's uh, an absolute joke the lawless bridge of jacksonville look at that that needs to see these people people don't really pay that much attention to their tie down straps i don't even have Folks, them on a boat like mine had these tie down straps not been here yeah the boat would have done this number and flopped right on over 
Yeah. Uh, and the damage would have been much more severe, and it could have been much worse for me being in the truck with the boat coming around on. Many times you see on some boats, the boat ends up sitting on top of the truck. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show you, I mean, num number one, the dur durability of the aluminum boat versus if, if this was a, a little lightweight uh, fiberglass boat. I mean, yeah, this thing's probably toast. Well, this is a big ass boat, folks. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah. I mean, you could see it, um, you know, when on our fishing footage. But the thing is, is massive for like a John boat style side console yeah. boat. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the perfect boat if you want to fish creeks, but you also want to be able to fish the main river on St. John's. It's the perfect boat for that. When I man. saw it on the side of the road, uh, if I can kind of remember, when I passed Dennis, what, 20 minutes after this happened yeah. on the Wonderwood Bridge, on the Wonderwood Bridge, and all I remember is the boat being somewhere over here off of the trailer and seeing the engine hanging down in the road. And I went, holy shit, I know that boat. Oh my God, it's Dennis. Yeah, the engine, the engine is, the only thing keeping it attached to the boat is the, uh, is the steering cables. The, the, I mean, not steering, but the power cables and and uh, yeah. this stuff here, that's the only thing keeping it. There's your the steering. Yeah. That's Shifter steering. cables. Shift cables. Shift cable, yeah. Uh, they, oh, there he is. Really right there. That's what it's really hanging on. It's really hanging on just a steering bar. Yeah. And not by much. No. Not by, by much. One it little bolt. Took much more to shear that off. Oh, look at that. Bent that right around yeah. like yeah. no tomorrow, man. Look at it. Wow. That's a solid stainless steel piece. Looks like my, trim my tilt hydraulic uh, trim tilt is pretty much intact. But. Yeah. And you said, so when he hit you, when he hit you, the boat was off the side of the trailer? Yeah, it was sitting on the road. It was sitting on the road. Yeah, because that's what I think I saw. Yeah, it was sitting on the road. Now, in the, in the course of pulling the motor out of the way and... and people trying to right the boat before the police got there which is a no-no by the way. I live at the base of that Wonderwood Bridge and I hear the drag racing and their crotch rockets at one o'clock in the morning and all kinds of stuff and my idea is at the very top of that bridge they put cameras and man soon as you aren't doing 55 BAM you get a speed you get a snapshot of your license plate and you're gonna get a god dang ticket in the mail. And you know what? I've always suspected, and I even asked a lieutenant from the sheriff's department, that's a friend of mine, does the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office have a deal with the Navy or something to not mess with them? Because let me tell you something. They don't, most of these guys, you know, not a whole lot of them give a shit because they're not even from around here. But when, they're, when all that traffic is pouring over there even myself I'm going around Dennis and I'm going around a fire truck the other day and a guy won't let me get my boat through and I ran my uprights down the side of his truck everybody's in such a hurry to go to work I guess it must be so much fun to work on that base now you've got some guy because he was in such a hurry who has probably totaled his car. Yeah, totaled his car. Could have gotten himself killed. Yep. He could have killed me. Yep. He, he destroyed my property. Yep. All because and, he was in a hurry. And guess what? We don't know because Dennis, the way he said, he talked to him. We don't know if he was uh, like some crackhead. We don't know. We don't know anything about They him. took him to the hosp hospital and I guarantee they took a damn blood test of that son of a bitch. This is, this is war too. Oh yeah. I go fishing for recreation. I worked 40 years, 22 of them for the federal government. Yeah, as, so as a federal employee. Right. I could earn the right to go fishing twice a week in my boat. Yeah, well. Now I can't do that because somebody got in a hurry. So that's what's left of my boat. The more I look at, the madder I get. Okay, well, let's go. All right. 
Okay, we're going to end it here. And then I still have to do editing. <laughs> <laughs> See you, folks.